Hey there, little adventurers! Today, we are going to explore the life of one of the most inspiring environmentalists of all time, John Muir. Please welcome, Mr. John Muir. Alright lads and lassies, I'm John Muir. I've got 8 true or false questions and fun facts to teach you about me. And my fascinating biography. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's start. Question number one. True or false? I was born in Scotland. Easy. It's true. You were born in Dunbar, East Lothian, Scotland, on April 21st, 1838. Bingo! Takakik, lads and lasses! The three-story house on the left was my birthplace. Later, my father bought the building to the right and made it the family home. After immigrating to the USA, we lived on a farm, where I developed a deep love for nature and the outdoors. Question number two, true or false? I moved to the United States when I was five years old. False. I remember that your family and you moved to the U.S. in 1849. When I was 11 years old, we moved to the U.S. Settling in Wisconsin. You kept your Scottish accent after many decades in the US. You must love Scotland so much. She is my roots and my homeland, after all. <laughs> Question number three, true or false? I helped establish the National Park Service. True, you helped establish the National Park Service. Incorrect answer. Although I played a key role in the creation of several national parks, the National Park Service was not established until after my death. I was instrumental in the creation of Yosemite National Park, Sequoia National Park, and Mount Rainier National Park. <laughs> Question number four. True or false, I founded the Sierra Club. Bingo, together with friends who shared love of nature. I founded the Sierra Club in 1892. The Sierra Club is now one of the largest and most influential environmental organizations in the United States. Question number five, true or false? I believed that nature had a spiritual dimension. I don't know. It's true, to me, nature was a source of spiritual inspiration. And spending time in the wilderness could help people connect with the divine. I recalled that you once wrote, Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. Yes, nature is the wonder of this planet. <laughs> Question number six, true or false? I died of a heart attack while hiking. It's false. You died of pneumonia in Los Angeles, California, on December 24, 1914. You went on many adventures throughout your life, including a 1000 mile walk from Indiana to Florida. You also climbed many mountains, including Yosemite's Half Dome. Question number seven. True or false? I had a beloved tiger named Sticky. It's false. Sticking was a dog. He accompanied me on many adventures. Sticking was with me as we traversed a glacier, and I never forgot his bravery. Aww. Question number eight. True or false? President Theodore Roosevelt and I were buddies. You guys were besties. He even 
even went on a three-day wilderness trip with you in Yosemite National Park. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, our Pris Theo was so impressed by the natural beauty of Yosemite that he went on to establish five new national parks and 18 national monuments during his presidency. Will Dane, lads and lassies, you finished all my questions now. I gotta go on my no adventure, see you after, cheerio. Bye, thanks. Wow, we've learned so much about John Muir today. He was a true pioneer, an adventurer, and an advocate for the environment. We hope that you are inspired by his story and that you will continue to explore the outdoors and work to protect our planet. Remember, even small actions can make a big difference. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. If you enjoy our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and goodbye.